Hi, this is Mighty Faith. Thank you for coming with me in my journey. I am not an advisor. I am not a professional. One day I will be. Um, and um, you're coming with me in my journey. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I know it's been a minute. Uh, well, I did post some stuff, but I'm doing really good. Uh, God bless you and um, doing great. But um, today I am actually going to school and I'm doing university studies and woo, it has been something else. But when you're a student, <laughs> especially when you're going to university, it is serious. And so I dealing, juggling with life and everything. I needed a cup of Joe and I needed a right cup of Joe. So what you see here is the biggest cup I have. <laughs> And I'm going to drink it. Mm. This is my cup. This is the bit. This is the cup that I need today for my studies. <laughs> so I just want to tell you, I want you to be blessed. I want to encourage you. And that encouragement is if you call upon the name of Jesus, your help. And I just want to encourage you that your help cometh from the Lord. Um, prayer changes things. And I just want to encourage you. I have a little scripture. And my scripture is this. It's coming out of Psalms 124. I just want to say. 124 verses 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who, who made heaven and earth. So I want to encourage you that God, our help is in the name of the Lord. I want to encourage you that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Whatever the situation you're going through, whatever you're up against and what you're dealing with, I want to encourage you that prayer changes things. And... I always ask the Lord to forgive me, wash me, cleanse me. And I just would encourage you that God can do the same. He can help you. Um, and it's not, it's just like I'm talking to you. You can, you can talk to God. You know, he's so good. And I want to encourage you in that. I want to encourage you that the Lord is able and he's there to pick you up. And sometimes there's things we just don't want to talk to people or go through. Just like with me, with my VSG, I was, I had to, uh, overcome certain hurdles in my life, but it was God that brought me through those hurdles. And I just want to encourage you in that, that you can do anything. You can, all things are possible through Jesus Christ, through God and Whatever your situation is, only you know, and God knows, and God can help you. But there's this saying that people say all the time. It says a closed mouth can, can be fed. You have to go to him because if you don't go to him, why would you go to other things that are just tangible, that are just limited? He's an unlimited God. And so anything that you're dealing with, whatever it is, go to the word, read that. He, he made, he created heaven and earth. And if he created heaven and earth, what more can God do? He's, he's a mighty God and he's got all power in his hand. And I want to encourage you, that is my go-to. My go-to is God, is Jesus Christ. My go-to is the living God, and he's a good God, and he loves you. He loves each and every one of us because he died for us. John 3 and 16, it says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That's Jesus. 
And whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I want to encourage you with those words. If you don't feel and you feel a certain way or you feel uh, just like you're just alone, you don't have to be alone. Jesus will be with you. If you feel disparity or you feel sad, well, God can be there with you and he can help you. And Matthews, it says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy lighted, and I will give you the rest. He says, take my yoke, for my yoke is easy, my burdens are light. You don't have to carry your burdens today. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And he will be your burden carrier. He carried all of our griefs and bore all of our sorrows when he died on the cross. I want to encourage you. You don't have to go through certain things alone. Take Jesus with you. Take, just pray. It doesn't have to be a certain, just open your heart. Have a willing mind. You must just have a willing mind. I want to encourage you that God loves you and you are that special to him. You are special and you are loved because you were so worth it because he went to the cross and he paid the price in full. He went to the cross for you. He stepped in them gaps for you. He loved you that much that when he died, he died with you in his heart. He knew that one day that you were gonna need a savior, that we gonna need a savior. I wanna encourage you that he is the only one and true living God that can help you in any circumstances, Nothing's too great. Nothing's too big. Nothing's too impossible that God cannot do and bring you out. I want to encourage you. I know what it's like, but I also know what works for me. What works for me, my tools, is Jesus. What will work for you is God, Jesus too. He is the very amazing God and he's so good that you don't have to carry your brokenness and your hurt and your sad or or you don't have to be alone you don't have to uh have this like no one understands me Jesus understands you he's a good God and he loves you he loves you and I want to encourage you with that Everything is going to be okay. It's going to be all right. But you got to first have a willing mind and trust in him. You know, you just got to trust him. Just like in everything, everything that we do in life, there's a process. Well, there's a process too in God. These are steps. You can't change. You can't turn things. Uh, we can't. Uh, we can't do it in ourselves. That's why we needed the blood. That's why we needed Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage you. God can fix all things. He can fix a broken heart. I just want to encourage you that what you're going through, he is able. It doesn't matter what it looks like or how it feels. Just give it to Jesus. Just give it to him. Go to him. And he will fix everything. I want to encourage you that it doesn't matter what it feels like. He gave you breath and life. You're alive because of God. You have life because of him. He is the one that gave you life and woke you up this morning. I just want to encourage you. Just try them. There's no failure in God. There's none. And he loves you. And I wanted to tell you that today. I want you to know that he's a good God. And he loves you today. And he won't fail you because in him there's no failure. There's none. So what is my go-to? It's not the cup of Joe. It's Jesus. What's my tools today is the living God. 
What's my hope today is God. He first loved us. He's always loved us, even the Father. I want to encourage you with that. God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you, and you be blessed today. I pray that these words would be encouraging to your soul, because it's the truth. It is nothing but the truth. And look in Isaiah 53 and 5. Just read it, John 3 and 16. Just read it. Read the, the Psalms 124. I just want to encourage you today. I just want you to tell you that this too shall pass. Everything is going to be okay. Just put your trust in Jesus, who is the sure foundation, who is the surest thing. God bless you and be blessed. Ciao. Ciao. Que Dios le bendiga.